Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram already know what's happening. So uh, if you guys haven't, I'll put a little recap right now. All right, so during winter, I forgot to drain the water for my laser cutter. So this tube was filled with water and when it froze, it basically uh, cracked that glass. So I ended up hot gluing the pieces that are broken and I hope it works. All right, the water even didn't even get to this point. You see there's a little water. But the back piece on this is completely broken. I actually found the shard down there, if you can see it. So I'm gonna have to take this whole thing apart and hot glue the back. All right, so uh, I finished gluing the back piece. I didn't do a nice job, but it kind of works. So I'm gonna test it now and see if it's gonna work. I'm not powering the laser or anything. I'm just powering the pump just to feed the water through. Leaking there, and it's leaking here. Yeah, I think I improved it. Okay, so after a lot of rigorous work and trying to get this guy working, uh, you see all the glue and stuff like that? I spent tons of hours and everything. I finally did it. I bought a new one. I can't, I just can't. I couldn't fix it. It was leaking nine ways till Sunday. Um, I had to buy a new one just to get this thing going again. So that's not why I brought you here, but originally this type of printer, which is the K40, you need a computer to run this guy, especially you need a Corel Draw, which is a software that they use, and also this USB key, so it allows you to run this printer. But what if I told you we could actually run this whole guy without the key using a Raspberry Pi? So that's what we're gonna be doing today, installing Raspberry Pi into my laser cutter. So I have remote access, I could cut from anywhere so let's get started all right so everything's all set uh, I had to realign everything I had to realign the one in the back the one in the front and well I just left this guy so here's a little quick test you can see the red light and if I move it down a little bit you'll also see the red light and then if I move it towards the center a little bit you should also see a little red light. So yep, everything's all set. Now to talk about this guy a little bit, this is a pretty cheap uh, laser cutter. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested. It's called the K40. It's, uh, I drew this grid out. Now originally it comes with this thing that hits in the center and that's the only cuttable size. So it's, it's very small, I don't know, eight inches by whatever. But I ended up taking that apart and now I could rest my pieces of wood on top of this. I still need to cr put some sort of like crate here or something or some fence or something like that so stuff won't fall through. But uh, in the meantime, what I have done is I measured out everything as a grid. It's 10 millimeters per, so it's 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's the beginning point. So now every time when I need to adjust the print, I could just move down 10 millimeters or whatever I need to do. Uh, I added this. Um, hose and a 3d printed nozzle right here this actually feeds air through this tube through this hole so it basically forces air towards the cutting area that way you it won't spark a fire or anything because if you leave this on for a very long time without the fan uh, it will spark up some sort of flame and you kind of need to blow it out before it gets worse so you definitely need this piece of uh, item. And this is all 3D printed. This is a 3D printed um, I, I chain, I guess, as for wires, but I just ran the tube in. Uh, I ended up using one of these, which is, you know, to blow up your airbed, you could just get one of these guys. Um, I forgot what it's called, but I'll leave a link in the description. There's the on button. It's a bit loud. That's why I don't keep it on right now, but that will feed air through this tube. This tube was from Home Depot. It's like an IV type tube, uh, elastic, it's very flexible. And that's why I really needed this um, chain because if I left it, it'll just dangle and it'll cut itself or burn itself. And I just ran it through here. All right, so that's it. Uh, now we're gonna get to the project part where we're gonna install our Raspberry Pi into this guy. Now I'm not using the GPIOs uh, to contradict all the stepper motors or anything. It, it is all software based. So uh, hang out for one second and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Here we have a fully updated Raspberry Pi. Uh, the kernel's updated, uh, app get updated and all that stuff is all done. 
So the first thing we need to do is actually navigate over to this website called scorchworks.com. I'll leave a link in the description and everything that you need will also be on my website. Now, we're gonna head over to downloads and download the latest version of the K4 Whisper. Now this software allows you to run the laser cutter without having to use that key and it does a really good job at what it's supposed to do and since it's, it's open source, it supports you know multiple operating systems. So what we're gonna do is actually download the source code. That way it's all in Python and we could just use it as is. So I'm gonna copy the link address here and I'm just gonna do a wget and paste this right into a terminal. Yes, I made the letters bigger for you guys. So we're gonna let that download while that happens. We're also gonna open, oh, we'll just wait because it takes two seconds. All right, it's done already. Huh. We're gonna do unzip, K, okay, and then hit tab to autocomplete. And it's gonna unzip it into that folder. So we're just gonna go into that folder for now. We're not doing anything yet, but first we need to download all the software from through AppGet to get all this working. So I'm gonna clear this screen. After I cleared the screen, I'm just gonna do sudo app get install and all the stuff that we need. Now I'm gonna use be using tabbed autocomplete. So um, all the stuff should be on my website. You can probably follow along or copy and paste from my website itself. I'm gonna do xml2-dev libxlt-dev one-dev, come on now. Inkscape, we need Inkscape for this application to work. libjpeg-dev, libudev-dev, hit enter. This will take a couple of minutes, 259 megabytes, so figure, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Okay, now that everything's all installed, we're gonna head over and install the uh, Python stuff. So we're gonna do pip install requirements. You see, it fills it out. But once you hit enter, it's actually gonna take all that repository that's in the requirements and install it into your uh, system for Python. This actually will take a while. So you can walk away and do whatever because it's gotta compile stuff. Oops, uh, I forgot to do the dash r. Got too excited for a moment. All right, now that everything installed through pip, uh, we are gonna have to do something very similar, but uh, using the sudo command. So it's gonna be sudo pip install py usb. I know it installed it just for the regular base user, but you are gonna need to install it to sudo because we, are, we have to run the software, you need sudo just so you have access to USB. So, let that install, it takes a few minutes after this. All right, here we have it. To test the program, we could do sudo python k40 whisper.py. That's it. Everything is running. And if you have the k40 whisper, if you have the k40 laser cutter, you could initialize the laser cutter and everything. So now that this program works, uh, we are basically done with the Raspberry Pi part. Just remember to enable VNC, uh, your Wi-Fi, SSH if you need to, and all that other stuff before you bring it into your, you know, K40 uh, laser. Now, one of the things I am gonna do is I'm gonna head over to the start menu or whatever menu you wanna call it, go to preferences and actually add. I am gonna put in a new menu item and I'm gonna go into other. Now to make sure that it's executable, which I am not sure, I'm just gonna go over here and do ls. Oh, it's not because it's not green. So I'm gonna do chmod plus x k40 whisper.py thon and in over here now I go back, new item, and I'm just gonna call this K40 Whisper. And I'm gonna go into Browse, go into Home, K4 Whisper Source, uh, K4 Whisper Pi, and in front of this, I am actually gonna do GK sudo Python. Head back over here, go to Other, there you go. You don't have to display this message again, but now it works with pseudo privileges. So now let's give this a try. All right, so there we have the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's back here, if you guys could see it. And it's doing its job. So right now I don't have a remote, just because I could test the, and film everything all together. That's how it's doing. And that's what it's doing.
So here's the finished product. As you can see, it's actually fade, dark on one side and faded to the other. That's because my laser is still not fully aligned. So I'm gonna have to get that taken care of. Don't worry about the top. I really didn't cut it the way I, I just threw an old piece of wood just so I could test it. But yeah, uh, I still need to realign it, but the laser is working and we're using a Raspberry Pi. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. All the stuff that we're talking about will be on my website. And if you made it this far into a video, I will actually be doing a giveaway. Now, once I get my laser aligned and working properly, I will be giving away one of these wooden cases. You see the retro, obviously it's not gonna be painted because I painted this one, but it will be a full kit with all the screw holes and everything. So, so yeah, uh, this version is slightly different because I actually drilled three holes to have an indicator light, a power light, and then a little reset button over here just so I could reset the unit without having to take apart anything. But yeah, ultimately I will be giving away one of these. All you have to do is be subscribed, and uh, write something in the comments below. It could be anything you want. And then I'll just go by random and select a winner. And then I will be sending out one of these cases to one of you guys. This will be available on my store. Uh, I don't know the price of it yet, but I'm putting everything together and I'll let you, you'll just see it. By the time this video goes up, I would have this up there with the price and everything. So if you guys are interested in just purchasing the wooden case, you see how it's got the bottom. I'll, I'll, I'll put some pictures here. It will be available on my store once I figure out all the knickknacks and stuff like that to get it going. If you guys have any questions about this Raspberry Pi, now keep in mind, they, he, he does keep this program pretty up to date. So just keep checking the K4 Whisper website and you'll see updates as it goes. And then he has um, the documentation or, or release notes for new versions. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my Nerd Cave, hack till it hurts.